Let's play something else. So we can go back to menu. Yes. So one of the games I wanted to play. Yeah, PC Genjin, which came over at, as a bunk game over here. Let me just a quick look up officially what it was called. I just want to make sure I'm saying the right thing here. Yeah, it was just called Bunk's Adventure. Um, where did my... Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, Bunk's Adventure, and this is the game that I really remember from the Turbo Graphics. Um, I don't know why it's only in Japanese um, on the system, uh, because the second one's in English. Oh, no, wait, no. Go back. Um, the second one's in English. And then, is the f second one in Japanese? I guess. No, I guess it's not. But Bunk was kind of the, um... Bunk was like the Mario, I guess. Of the turbo or like an attempt at this and yeah so this is the game that i like i really remember so it uses his head to you know so instead of jumping on stuff like mario does he smashes them in the head I remember um, ads in like GamePro, EGM, stuff like that. I did not play a ton of the Turbo Graphics back then. Uh, there was one kid in my neighborhood who had a Turbo Graphics, and he was kind of a dick. So I didn't spend a ton of time at his house. Um, uh, especially after I remember I beat him at RBI baseball once and he threw like a real um, fit about it and I was just kind of like okay whatever man and his mom was like a uh uh, I believe we would call them today a Karen, for sure. So they had a Turbo Graphics, and I just didn't play it much. Um, but Bonk. Wait, what am I doing here? Okay, why can't I jump? Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, okay. 
there's a real um graphically there's real uh, super mario 2 vibe you know our mario 2 not the really hard one that we streamed uh once and we should really get back to that at some point we did that on uh extra life day a couple years ago we got to like level four i was actually pretty impressed with myself uh for getting that far But that kid had one, and um, he had this. He had um, uh, the Baseball Stars game, which is not on this system. Which is, you know, that's an interesting choice because since those games were all, this is those games have all been reissued. Although that might be why, because they have been reissued. be why they're not on there um are those are we're gonna do an episode about um we've done baseball stars the original which is um one of the greatest video games ever and then we did an episode of baseball stars 2 but we did not do baseball stars professional on the turbo graphics yet but we will it's on the list i actually just made a new list recently of uh, games we gotta get to at some point but yeah he had those games I think he had a Bomberman game and So yeah, so you can't, you know, it's not like Mario, you can't jump on them. But you can do that. Yeah, I have not played this game in literally 30 years. So bear with me. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, I get it. Oh, I shot it. Very cool. Oh, we gotta go around, okay. Yeah, so Turbo Graphics wasn't something I played until I was in college. I had a friend who had a PC Engine that he'd imported, and he had a whole ton of games, including, you know, Rondo Blood, because that was how I first played it. Thank you. 
love the colors in this game. I love that green. Looks like a Maniac Mansion. Oh no! I could have used that heart. That's okay. Oh yeah, this is the guy from the ad. He's your friend that got hypnotized. Into hating you. There's a nice long, by the way, nice long, long cord with this controller. Let's pause for a second. So, this Neo Geo system, they really learned from the mistakes of some of these other systems, which amongst them is make it very easy to go back to the menu. You just hold down select and run. Um which is a problem on the NES and the SNES until you buy a third-party controller that just gives you a menu button. Um, I guess you could, if you hack it, you can probably, you can probably set it up too. Um, actually, yes, you can. Uh, the small cords on those OG, especially the NES one, is really bad. Um... They definitely made sure the, to debug it so it's not buggy like the Genesis one is. They do the Genesis menus with the double glitch, which I guess is in some games too, I've heard, which is not great. But um, I think they've really learned from all that, and Konami put together a, a heck of a little system here. Um, I'm pretty impressed, honestly. And I wanna. it makes me want to play more of these games and check them out. Ooh, why can't I hit you? That was weird. Okay, so some of those are going to be ones that, so you got to kind of jump away. Okay. Got it. So yeah, so jump away, and then you get that. Jump away, and then that one. Okay, so, so far it seems like it's always the second one. Interesting. These are like the Goombas of, uh, of this. Oh, I remember what episode. Um, I forgot to add to the overlay. Uh, Super Mario. So the three upcomings are Fancy Star 3, Suikin and 2, and Super Mario World. Um, and then, yeah, eventually Dragon Quest also. The Fancy Star 3 one uh, finished 
it yesterday. Um, I wish it was a little longer, but it's fine. I'll live. There's kind of a bunch of stuff to say about that game, but there kind of isn't. And now that we've done episodes about a couple games in the series, I kind of speak to it more as, like, where it stands in the context of the series more than anything else, I guess. Which, I don't know. I really liked it back then. I kind of don't now. I like the concept of it. The, like, the idea of, like, an RPG where you play, like, different generations and and I think it's something that like a RPG, like a like a creator today could do. Like the like I could see like the company that did Cosmic Star Heroin taking that on because it seems like one of the vibes they're going for is like that kind of like Genesis, Sega Saturn. We need a Saturn Mini really badly. I want to play Lunar and not have to pay a lot of money. Or for the or use the crappy PS1 uh, redo. And then there's one on the DS that I've heard that's really bad too. Okay, what's going on with these guys? Okay, we can kill them. Good. So let's just swim down here then. Oh, and then they electrocute, and because you're in water, yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna go well for you. Right. Oh, did that thing hit me? Oh. down here until I don't have to. There we go. Oh, yeah, see that part. Oh, you can't. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you gotta, like, perfectly nail it to get in.
was up top. Oh. Oh, oh crap. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on. Get up there. I have a tweet that's like blowing up right now. Oh, this must be my last slide. I wonder how this works with continues and stuff like that. There better be continues. Oh crap, I just noticed those things are like pounding our hit points. Yeah, jeez. Oh man. Continue. Yes, please. Oh, okay, it doesn't take you back too far.
me see what's going on with that. Sorry about that. Yeah, one of my tweets is getting a lot of hits. Faves. Whatever. I had something really, uh, what was it, yesterday? I had something really, really blow up. Sarah, I got caught up with the conversation. Eh, it happens to the best of us. Stupid friends. How's it going tonight? We are playing um, PC Genjin, which came to America as Bunk's Adventure uh, for the TurboGrafx-16. Uh, Which I have not played um, in uh, literally 30 years. So, I'm just kind of winging it here. And, uh, I'm only vaguely sure what I'm supposed to be doing at any given time. Trying to convince my mom not to find a plane. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't sound like a good idea right now. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's probably bad. I'm gonna uh, go out on a limb and say. I'm going to say going traveling anywhere right now is probably a bad idea. Unless you really, really gotta. Ah, uh, this part's hard. So the thing with Bonk is instead of um, jump, I mean, he can jump on things, but instead of jumping on things, uh, he, you know, instead of jumping on things like Mario does, he uh, bashes people in the head. And you can kind of float. And I'm in what I think is level two, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Yeah, his, uh, 
Oh, that thing hits you. Oh, okay, so you gotta do that. Alright, I get it. I'm getting there. Oh, it died. Oh, you lose, you lose, oh, crap, you lose hearts when you're down there. Oh, jeez, okay. I haven't been able to play as many games as I like. I moved recently, and internet in my new office sucks. Are you still here in town, or...? Yeah, this level's like really hard. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about what what if 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 we're already doing stuff like that, like what's coming next. Oh, I see what's coming next. Hammer Brothers. Still in town, just moved with my dad. Oh, okay. Very cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's unlimited continues. That's good, at least. I can live with that. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, so those meat things are like a star, I guess. I think, um, I said this earlier, but I think uh, Super Mario 2 is a big influence on this game. Like, our Super Mario 2, not the, um, the Japanese version. Oh yeah, why isn't that on the um, the uh, NES Classic thing on the Switch yet? Yeah, so you gotta, okay, I'm getting this. Let's pause for a second. Yeah, unlimited, it looks like it's unlimited continues. I mean, the game's in Japanese, so I, I like kinda know, but so far it seems like it's unlimited. Okay, I get it. And then the thing pops out. Okay. Yeah, I like the spins too. It's great. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, no, 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 There we go. Yeah, it's this part that's that's the hard part. 
You gotta stay up at the top. Which is hard to do, though. Wait, how did I get on that? Oh, I hit up. Okay, I get it. Yeah, look at that. That frog takes a three quarters of a heart off. Dude, that's messed up. Okay. So I'm gonna jump up. Yeah, you see, the first time you get hit by one, yeah, like right there. Three quarters of a heart. Yeah, this game's not messing around. And they're easy to hit, too. Because there's stuff flying around. Um Yeah, this is this is tough. Alright, let's give this a shot. I'll try it one more time. Yeah, there is so much flying at... Yeah, exactly. There is so much just crap on the screen. Maybe the better way to do it, instead of trying to jump and spin, is to just jump. Because I feel like... I feel like some of this stuff gives you things and some of it doesn't either, and I can't figure out which one does what. Either. Which is kind of a problem. Oh, you can't... Oh, those things keep hitting me because I got stuck in the... In the... In the swamp. Hmm. Yeah, and then those flying things hit me. Yeah, and I went from, I was at perfect hearts, and now I'm down to, like, nothing. Mm. Yeah, and then that thing hit me again. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, because you get stuck. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because the problem, too, is you get stuck in the in sand. And then when that stuff, those little things that come at you from behind try to get you, when you try to jump them, you can't, yeah, see, and then you crash into that. Yeah, this ain't, eh. Eh. I'm not feeling this. Not to sound like my usual self, but Nintendo would have designed this much better. They did. It's called Super Mario 2. Yeah, so how do you get on there? I keep getting on it. And I can't figure out how. Yeah, see, they just... Yeah, one hit from that dude takes, like, your entire, like, HP. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's the it's the frogs that are the problem. Everything else is okay. Jeez. That frog came out of nowhere. And then if you hit the ground there, you die too. Yeah. Eh. I'm sick of this. 